Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool currently being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Now, let's see if you can answer this actual NEET question. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comments section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch the full video. Now, here is a situation. Suppose there are two prisms of different materials having different geometries. For example, suppose here this angle is A and for this prism the angle is A dash. And similarly, the other values are also written. For example, refractive index for this prism if written as mu v for the wallet, then mu v dash for the wallet in case of this material. So there are two different materials, two prisms, which are oppositely directed. Here the point is to be noted that they are oppositely directed. So their deviations are along opposite sense. So deviations produced are along opposite sense. So net deviation will be the subtraction of the two okay so net deviation would be basically delta 1 minus delta 2 means the deviation produced by one prism minus the deviation produced by the second prism and this thing will be applicable for all the color all color components in these two deviations so light ray is incident then it deviates and then again deviates from this prism and then comes out of this combination. So both deviations produced are along opposite sense. So overall deviation is reduced. So here what we can write like delta for the wallet is equal to. You can understand that delta for the wallet in first prism would be this. Okay. Delta as we know that formula for the delta that we are using in case of thin prism is mu minus 1 into a. So mu wallet minus 1 into a will be the deviation produced by the first prism and minus deviation produced by the second prism. Here we are using dash with all the symbols. So delta for the wallet is this. Okay. Delta for the red in the same way can be written as mu red minus 1 into a minus mu red dash minus 1 into a dash. And similarly, for the mean color, we can always write mu yellow minus 1 into A and minus mu yellow dash minus 1 into A dash. Okay. So, here net angular dispersion, the phi value would be delta wallet minus delta red, the angle between the wallet and the red color. So, the value of the phi equal to would be delta wallet minus delta red. Here, you can see corresponding terms will get subtracted like that and you can rearrange the result like this don't you agree okay so it will be the case if you subtract delta wallet minus delta red what you'll get is this phi so this is what angular dispersion this is our angular dispersion produced by this combination of the prism okay this is angular dispersion phi and we have the mean deviation so there are two conditions the first condition here is suppose A and this is the condition B. So if question is based on the condition A, then what you are required to do? And if the situation is like B, then what you have to do? So for the case A, it is that dispersion without deviation. Without deviation means we have to nullify the mean deviation. So in case A, we'll put delta yellow equal to zero. So it will be the condition for dispersion without deviation or sometimes it is written as angular dispersion without mean deviation. Okay, so delta yellow is zero. So delta yellow is zero means mu yellow minus one into A is equal to mu yellow dash minus one into A dash. Then this will serve as a equation to find some unknown if there is any in numerical problem. And similarly for the case B, deviation without dispersion means mean deviation may be there but we don't want any kind of angular dispersion means delta this value phi must be zero so for b phi should be zero that means mu wallet minus mu red into a is equal to mu wallet dash minus mu red dash into a dash so this is the condition number b means mean deviation without angular dispersion so you can use this concept to solve certain problems of this nature. 
and always give attention to this fact that both the prisms are similarly directed or oppositely directed. I have told you the case of same oppositely directed. That is why these deviations are getting nullified, are getting subtracted. In case, if the prism is kept inverted like that, if first prism is kept like this and second one is also kept like this, then both the deviations will produce in the same direction. Then here it would be plus plus everywhere. Okay, so that will be the difference that you can do on your own. You can understand on your own. So if prisms are oppositely directed, then deviations are to be subtracted from each other. And if they are similarly directed like this, then to find the total deviation, you will have to add the individual deviations and rest is same. Okay. Hey there. Hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and NEAT prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 solved examples. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.